Thank you. So it was very good now, but the first time when you played, you didn't do this bowing uh, section, but now it was much better. Okay, uh, but now when we are, uh, is coming the accents. Yeah. So you have to catch and release, catch, release. Okay, F always for the accents. Why do you stop there? I would do the second half, a little bit more legato, maybe. This is very... Nice, nice effect. Or if you do uh, more legato the first time, this one may be a little bit separated. Something should be... Also, also, um, of course, I'm, big, I'm being very picky. Yeah, you play wonderful, I'm being very picky, but I like to be very picky. Make sure, be very careful, because sometimes certain things sound like a boring etude. Even the boring eight, it shouldn't sound like that. Yeah. Uh, even if three, four notes, we tend to kind of let go. Or, yeah, go into some place. But then you have to do it with, with both speed or? With you can do it with both speed, you can do it with more legato, technically speaking, uh, speaking, but the... Sometimes um, it's, it sounds a little bit too square. I still want to see, you know, one of my colleagues at Peabody, Leon Fleischer, who is much older, he has a great sentence that Schnabel told him. And he said that the great musician is the one that can walk freely on a firm ground. So the ground is firm, the pulse is there, but you have to walk freely on top of it. Yeah. Which means sometimes we can steal time and go forward. The only thing we have to do is to give it back, otherwise we'll go to jail. So you can do ti da di da ni da ti bring it back ti da da di di da di di and then tempo it's all part it's like your your heart you get excited it gets faster it's okay just make sure that you bring it back so i don't want you to just play uh, like this that's not really music because it's not really life <laughs> I liked it. Bravo. Great. Up, up, up. Now save the boat, save. 